Hello beautiful people, welcome to Let's Talk. This is your host Elle Marie. Thank you for tuning in for another episode. All right, so we are going to talk about Kobe Bryant. We are going to talk about his wife and his wife mother suing her for financial support. All right, before we go to that situation, I wanna go back to when Kobe was younger. All right, so Kobe was born on August 23rd, 1978 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. His father's name is Joseph Washington Bryant and his mother's name is Pamela Cox Bryant. Kobe's father, Joseph Bryant, better known as Joe Jelly Bean Bryant, is a former basketball player who played for the NBA. Kobe Bryant has two older siblings named Sharia Bryant and Shia Bryant. In 1984, at the age of six, Kobe's father moved his family to Italy to play in the Italian Basketball League for seven years. In 1991, Joe Jelly Bean Bryant retired and moved his family back to the United States. Kobe Bryant was 13 years old. In school, Kobe didn't really have many friends. He was a loner. All he wanted to do is play basketball. Kobe knew he wanted to play basketball at the early age of four to five years old by watching his father play on television. Kobe started playing basketball at the age of seven years old in Italy. In high school, Kobe would stay late after school to make himself better at the game. In 1996, right after he graduated from high school, Kobe was drafted to the NBA. His parents moved to LA to support his dream. People criticized Kobe's parents for allowing him to go to the NBA without going to college. But Kobe didn't care what people were saying, he just wanted to play basketball. He was the youngest to play in the NBA. At the age of 20, Kobe signed a contract for $71 million in the NBA market team in LA. Some of his teammates and coaches thought Kobe was arrogant and selfish, and he was trying to carry the NBA on his back. Due to his ways, they felt that he causes them several basketball victories but others would say that Kobe just felt invisible on the court and he just wanted to win. In the spring of 2000, Kobe met his wife Vanessa at a music video. He instantly fell in love with her. On April of 2001, Kobe married Vanessa. Kobe's family nor his teammates came to his wedding. Everyone felt like it was a forced marriage and they were too young. At 23 years old, Kobe was a five-year veteran in the NBA, and he helped lead his team to two championships. In 2013, according to ESPN, Kobe's mother, Pamela Bryant, sold his memorabilia to an auction company, which she stated that Kobe gave her permission to do so. Kobe was furious with his mother for selling his memorabilia which created a wedge between him and his parents for years. He ended up suing his mom and bought the items back from the auction company. She later on apologized to him in a written statement. Allegedly, Kobe Bryant's mother wanted to purchase a house and Kobe offered her $250,000 toward the home, but his mother wanted more. In an interview, Kobe stated in, I quote, our relationship is shit. I say to them, I'm going to buy you a very nice home. And the response is, that's not enough? Then you're selling my shit? Online at the time, people were not happy the way Kobe treated his mother. One article wrote, people ain't ished. Shady Kobe Bryant keeps his parents leaving the struggle while he and his Mexican in-laws ball outrageous and another one wrote kobe bryant won't buy parents a house but but mother-in-law a three million dollar home so people were not too happy with kobe going after his parents 
On January 26, 2020, Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi were killed in an unfortunate helicopter crash in Calabasas, California. On September 2020, Vanessa Bryant's mother, Sophia, had an interview with El Gondo de la Fraca on Univision. She stated her daughter Vanessa kicked her out of her home and took her car away. Now Sophia is suing Vanessa for financial support. I want you guys to look at this clip. In that September 2020 interview, Vanessa Bryant's mom, Sophia Lane, claimed she had been kicked out of her home by her daughter. Now things are getting messier. Sophia is suing Vanessa and the Kobe Bryant Trust for financial support, claiming Kobe promised to take care of her for the rest of her life before he and daughter Gianna died in January 2020. In these court docs obtained by ET, Sophia claims she worked unpaid as a longtime personal assistant and nanny for the family, which includes Kobe and Vanessa's other three daughters, Natalia, Bianca, and Capri. The docs also say, quote, Kobe Bryant's promises did not see the light of day as he is now deceased and Vanessa Bryant took each and every step she could to void and cancel all of Kobe Bryant's promises. Now Vanessa is responding, claiming her mom is trying to extort a financial windfall from the family. In a statement to ET, she says, quote, I have supported her for nearly 20 years and she was never my or Kobe's personal assistant, nor was she a nanny. She says her mom watched her granddaughters from time to time like most grandparents do, but adds, quote, she now wants to back charge me $96 per hour for supposedly working 12 hours a day for 18 years for watching her grandchildren. In reality, she only occasionally babysat my older girls when they were toddlers. Vanessa also addresses her mom's September interview. Quote, even after that betrayal, I was willing to provide my mother with monthly support for the rest of her life, and that wasn't good enough. She instead contacted me through intermediaries and demanded $5 million, a house, and a Mercedes SUV. Vanessa goes on to call her mom's lawsuit frivolous, disgraceful, and unimaginably hurtful and says, quote, my husband never promised my mother anything and he would be so disappointed in her behavior and lack of empathy. All right, my thought on this is, I think this is an unfortunate situation here. Sometimes death can bring the worst out of the living, especially if there is money involved. Hopefully Kobe Bryant's parents can stay out of this situation and let Vanessa and her mother deal with this battle. All right, guys, please leave your comments, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye.